This is the most explosive offense to use in Madden 24. Do it. it is hard to stop run plays. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And won't play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. So if you want to see what unstoppable offense I'm using to get results like this, see ya. stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays that I'll be showing in today's video can once again be found in my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-defensive ebooks. If you guys need more help, you can always download these or any of my ebooks instantly by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. Today we are once again facing one of the best and most annoying teams to play against Woo! in Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. And I'll once again be rocking with this year's Super Bowl champions, my Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> I start this game out on defense and I will be using my 3-4 odd scheme all game. I'll be focusing mostly on offense in this video, but I just made a video yesterday about this defense. So if you guys want to learn more, I will have a link in the description and an on-screen pop up at the end of the video. So stick around for that. On the first play, I get an auto-selected defense from some random nickel package. Trash! And my opponent runs for almost 9 yards on the first play. On the next play, I actually get to select my 3-4 defense. And we shut his run down as he doesn't even gain a yard. On third and one, he tries to run again for the first down. Well, I'm busy here. But we push him back to a fourth and four that he immediately decides to go for. And if it wasn't for that first play, I probably would have gotten the ball already. Oh, good for you. I switched to my cover four version on the next play and we get an instant sack. We could go. Woo. And now he has to pass, which is exactly what I want. <laughs> before we end the drive with another sack, forcing him to punt it away. The offense that I'll be focusing on today is my gun stack by flex scheme. I've made several videos about this offense going all the way back to last year, but in today's video, I'm going to add a new one play touchdown to this scheme. If you followed my scheme last year, you might remember that I had an unstoppable one play touchdown from the fade out that got open outside of the cover three cornerback, unlike any cover three play in the game. Well, either EA patched that or the cornerbacks just react a lot better this year because it doesn't work. No. In fact, I had a hard time finding a one play touchdown versus cover three and cover one in this year's scheme until now. And that play is the Z spot. So my audible plays will be as follows. I'm going to put the Z spot in there as this is my new one play touchdown versus those two defenses. The PA read is next as this is really a one play touchdown versus everything else. Everything. Everything. And then I got the drive H wheels. This is both a highly effective dink and dunk play with multiple route options that get open against any defense, as well as a one play touchdown versus cover zero and cover one. And my last play is just a simple inside zone as you always need a run play to have as a threat. Now there's a lot of plays from this offense that I don't always get to use in my game plays. And that's why I made a practice style mode breakdown of this entire scheme. So if you guys want to learn more about this offense, I once again have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. On the first play, my opponent is in an obvious cover zero. So I switched to the drive H wheel as all I have to do is put the X route on a streak and it's an easy one play touchdown But I can also hit the wheel route to the running back for easy yards So a lot of times I'll use this pass as kind of like an outside run now that it's second in inches I know I can get those inches anytime I want so I decided to take a shot and since he is still in the same cover zero I make the exact same setup by putting the X on a streak Only this time I also put the running back on a check and release since it blocks better and also holds the safety responsible Keeping him from turning into a deep zone over my receivers but I don't get the separation that I was hoping for. So I run it on the next play to pick up the first. From here, my opponent's defense starts stepping it up as I make a bad read and almost throw an interception on the next play before getting stuffed on the ground to get me to a third and long. Since I'm at midfield, I already decide that this is four down territory. So the fifth play that I choose every single time I run this offense is always the Y sale as this play has several man and zone beaters on both sides of the field. But I also choose this play for what the running back is doing as cover three is the only defense that the wheel route from the drive H wheel does not beat. And on the next play, it looks like a cover three shell once again, and I probably could just hit the running back underneath one more time. 
but after the snap it looks like it's actually man so i hit the tight end on the sail route instead since he beats both and when i get back to the huddle it looks like he switched up on me once again so i'm gonna switch up on him the exact same way the halfback slip screen also has all the same routes except for it has a screen underneath and it works to perfection as we get another first down from here he shuts down my run the next play to push me back as his defense has been pretty tough to this point <laughs> Now in 3rd and 13, he's in the same cover 3 slash cover 1 shell look, making it very hard to read. But there's a very subtle tell for this formation that happens on the stack receiver side that you would only be able to see if you run this formation as much as I do. As I see, this cornerback is just slightly outside of this receiver, giving up inside leverage, which man coverage typically doesn't do, suggesting that this is a zone. So once I see this, I go back to the drive age wheel and streak the X route one more time, as this adjustment pulls back any deep zone in the area, allowing the corner route to get open underneath it against any zone coverage. Go in. I'm still switching up my defense as well as I start the next series in a cover three before switching to cover one man on the very next play. Not so for you. Getting an interception with the Kobe Dean, the touchdown scoring machine, as I can only hope my real life Eagles play as good as I do with this team in Madden. Just like that. Now up a fast 14 nothing. my opponent is going to come out firing as he has to get down the field and score before halftime to stay in this game. <laughs> I get him to a fourth and eight, but he makes a huge play with the running back to barely keep the drive alive, and maybe even the game, before pulling out an insane glitch play or something, what the fuck is that? and getting a score to get back into the game. Ah, you mother but in his hurry, he left a lot of time on the clock, and all I need is a few seconds, as I read cover three or cover one once again on the very next play. So, since time is short, I'm going to take a shot right away with the Z spot that beats both of these with the exact same setup. So, it really doesn't matter which one he's in. All you have to do is streak every receiver except the Y receiver and motion the running back to the line of scrimmage, as these three streaks are meant to pull the single high safety over to this side. After that, it's really just about the throw, as you have the bullet and pass lead up and inside away from the cornerback. Do it! Now before you point out the speed advantage, just know that I've done this with slower receivers in other gameplays, so this works with any receiver over 91 speed, it just doesn't work unless you can make that throw, which classic passing can't do. So that's halftime, right? I mean, nothing important can happen with only 31 seconds left, right? I don't even know why I'm showing this. Dude doesn't even have any timeouts, there's no way he can score, as I'm calling a prevent and dropping everybody back before the play. And fuck this guy! Second half, I start out with the ball, and I'm pissed about that last play, so I start out in a hurry up, as I want to score fast before I let this guy back into the game he comes out in a weak box look though so i switch to the inside zone that requires no setup i get a big first run but since i want to keep him in that small defense i hurry it up and do it again before deciding to hit the tight end over the middle for the first i swing it out to the running back on the next play before going back to the run and on this play you can see why i wanted to keep him in this defense yeah, I like pancakes. as i'm pretty sure he guessed past there yeah, I like pancakes. Back on defense, this guy ain't going nowhere as he's now running a hurry up of his own, calling audibles like Peyton Manning. Omaha! Peyton's Omaha! right side. Omaha! Before dialing up another deep ball that James Bradbury just can't keep up with, as I forgot to give him cushion on his side before the snap. God damn it! I recover zero in the next play and since it's first down again, I don't mind burning a play. So I switch back to the drive age wheel, streak the X route, and put the running back on a check and release once again. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> and this time we get it. Back on defense, he goes back into his hurry up as it's almost the fourth quarter. We get him to a third and long from his own 40, and I go back to the pinch buck zero, only this time, I back off all my cornerbacks. Oh, he almost had it. Now in fourth and 14, I do it again, and he tries the exact same streak one more time, which is the difference in this game. How about new? Since he took his shots on do or die downs, and I always did them with downs to spare. <laughs> So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber as I will put out a lot more videos just like this throughout the year. Other than that, if you guys want to see more from the offenses and defenses I was using in today's video, I'll once again have links in them popping up on the screen. So just click links as I'm sure to help your game. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.